And welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. And I'm Elizabeth Din. We start with how police say they responded to six shootings just last night, and three people were left wounded in all that. One person who heard the shots last night says he's considering moving his family out of Portland because of the constant gun violence. Our Liz Birch joins us now live. Liz, these shootings are happening in so many different parts of Portland. Dan, that's a really good point. Really all over the place. And those are some really sobering statistics. You just said six shootings just last night with at least three people injured. So I just learned from the Portland Police Bureau, they plan on having additional officers working this weekend to respond to this gun violence. A witness gave us a recording of these shots being fired in a North Portland neighborhood last night. Police say a 17 year old boy was injured. Another neighbor named David says this is just one of multiple recent shootings he's heard around here. He says he heard more than a dozen rounds. At the same time, it's just very concerning. It feels like wild, wild west. He's a dad to young children and says these shootings nearby are making him think about moving his family out of the state entirely. It puts a lot of stress, you know, it makes me reconsider where we're living and you know, is it time to, to relocate? This data from District Attorney Mike Schmidt's office shows the increase in shooting cases they've started prosecuting. It says February this year they initiated 36 cases, February last year 28, February 2019 11, and February 2018 6. The mothers and fathers of those who have lost their sons and daughters demand the gun violence to stop immediately. Schmidt addressed the rising gun violence in a video statement to media today, saying he's working with public health officials, nonprofit organizations, faith leaders, and law enforcement to deal with the spike in gun violence. My office remains committed to working with everyone who wants to be a part of the solution to gun violence, and our efforts to prosecute these crimes continue every day. Portlanders say an end to these shootings can't come soon enough. It's a shame, you know, and it's like, when is it going to stop? I reached back out to Mayor Ted Wheeler's office to see if they had any update to their statement on Tuesday about the city's response to this rise in violence. We'll let you know if we heard back. You can read Tuesday's statement on coin.com. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.